Ever wondered about the mysterious and endearing world of a certain spooky family? Meet the quirky and hilarious household that graced our screens in 1964, a little show called The Addams Family. With a unique blend of humor, horror, and heart, this TV series quickly became a classic. As you delve into the lives of Gomez, Morticia, Uncle Fester, and the rest of the clan, get ready for a roller coaster of emotions. There's a trove of funny, shocking, and even sad facts waiting to be uncovered. So keep your eyes peeled and your remote handy because you won't want to miss a single moment. Now, do you have a special memory associated with this series? Or has it inspired your life in a way you never expected? We all have our tales to tell. Speaking of which, we'd love to hear your most cherished memory or personal experience related to the Adams family. Share your stories and memories in the comments below. Your anecdotes could be the highlight of our spooky gathering. So buckle up for a trip down memory lane with a spooky family where every episode brings a new surprise and a hearty dose of laughter. Get ready for some nostalgia and the unexpected. Stay tuned for more, it's gonna be a thrilling ride. The 1960s TV series was a groundbreaking and unique show that mixed humor, an unusual family, and a bit of gothic charm. It told the story of a strange family with quirky tastes but strong family bonds. The show was ahead of its time, using clever jokes, funny scenes, and memorable catchphrases that people still remember. Carolyn Jones and John Astin's performances as Morticia and Gomez were a big part of the show's success. They had great chemistry, mixing sex appeal with comedy, setting a high standard for TV acting. Lurch, the family's butler, added a sympathetic touch, always choosing the path of misery with a dignified attitude that added a unique layer of humor. People often compare this series to another family show of the time, The Munsters, who had a more typical working-class image beneath their monster appearances. In contrast, the rich and quirky lifestyle of this show's family created a unique world, like something from avant-garde cinema. Gomez, as an educated and kind businessman, supported his family's unusual lifestyle while being generous to others. Morticia, with her gothic beauty, looked like she came out of a classic painting, embodying the show's rich aesthetic and cultural style. Uncle Fester brought humor to the family, and Lurch, with his perpetual gloom, added a relatable, if exaggerated, aspect of servitude and loyalty. The series wasn't just a comedy. It also commented on the idea of fitting in, asking viewers to see the world in a different way. It celebrated being different, making it a go-to for people who wanted humor with depth. The show is a reminder of what TV can do creatively, combining comedy, family, and the gothic to make something entertaining and thought-provoking. In essence, it was part of a trio of shows from that time that broke the mold, showing that humor and uniqueness could go along with a message about family and seeing the world from a different perspective. In summary, the show was a trailblazer that left a lasting impact, appealing not just to those who like the strange, but to anyone who enjoys creativity, humor, and the warmth of family ties, no matter how unusual they seem. Its characters, humor, and unique perspective make it a special part of TV history, proving that it's okay to be different and still connected. Peter's early days at Marquette were deeply influenced by his involvement with the village playhouse of Wauwatosa setting him on the path that would eventually lead to creating the classic TV show in 1964. Gomez Adams, a key figure in the series, had a unique set of investments, including shares in companies like Consolidated Fuzz, Consolidated Lint, and National Dust. These unusual choices reflected the show's oddball charm and added depth to his character. By January 28, 2023, John Astin became the last remaining main cast member from the original group, over time, the rest of the cast members passed away or left, making Aston the only direct link to the series from the 1960s. The story often touched on Gomez's quirky business dealings, providing a funny look into their unusual family life. These moments highlighted how he managed to balance normal activities with their strange lifestyle. John Aston's long-term connection with the show underlines how much television has changed and how the series has left a lasting mark on pop culture. His ongoing association with it reminds us of the unique appeal of this odd family. In summary, thanks to the early support from the village playhouse of Wauwatosa, the show introduced characters like Gomez with his odd investments and has remained memorable, with John Aston as the remaining member from the original cast, a living link to the charm of this unique family. Morticia's favorite chair, a distinctive wicker piece with a wide oval back, originally appeared in the film From Here to Eternity. It was used by Bob Prewitt at the new Congress Club, 
adding a touch of Hollywood history to the eerie Adams household. Don Rickles, the son of Etta and Max Sidney Rickles, had a diverse family background. His father, a Russian Jewish immigrant, married his mother, who was born in New York to Austrian Jewish parents. Don Rickles and his wife were parents to Mindy Rickles and Larry Rickles and grandparents to Ethan Mann and Harrison Mann. The cuckoo clock in the Adams residence, though featuring a bobcat head instead of the traditional cuckoo, was affectionately referred to by the family as a wolf, showcasing the quirky way in which they embraced the unconventional. The show's creators carefully incorporated these peculiar details, weaving them seamlessly into the fabric of the series. From Morticia's unique chair to the familial ties of Don Rickles, each element added depth to the eccentric charm of the Adams family. These subtle nuances, along with the show's innovative blend of humor and gothic allure, solidified its place as a timeless classic in the annals of television history. Thing, the mysterious hand without a body in the Adams family, shared an interesting detail in Thing is Missing. Its full name is Thing T Thing, with the T representing Thing. This amusing tidbit adds humor to the character that has captured the audience's imagination. The Spanish dubbed version of the series gave unique names to the beloved characters. Gomez became Homero, Uncle Fester transformed into Tio Lucas, Pugsley took on the name Pericles, Wednesday became Merlina, and the stoic butler Lurch adopted the name Largo. This linguistic twist gave the series an international flavor, showcasing the adaptability of the quirky characters beyond the English-speaking audience. In an interesting turn of events, despite Coogan's success in The Kid and Oliver Twist, the child actor faced challenges with miscasting in many other films. This aspect of Coogan's career adds a contrast to the success of the Adams family and highlights the unpredictable nature of the entertainment industry. Gomez Adams' unconventional investments, including shares in companies like Consolidated Fuzz, Consolidated Lint, and National Dust, offer a glimpse into his unique character. This peculiar financial portfolio adds a touch of eccentric charm to the series, creating a simple and interesting portrayal of the head of the Adams household. John Aston's enduring connection with the show is noteworthy. As of January 28, 2023, he stands as the last remaining main cast member from the original group. This longevity underscores the lasting impact of the Adams family on television and pop culture, with Aston serving as a living link to the charm and uniqueness of the 1960s series. Morticia's favorite chair, a distinctive wicker piece with a Hollywood history from the film From Here to Eternity, contributes to the eerie charm of the Adams household. The incorporation of elements like the peculiar cuckoo clock with a bobcat head adds depth to the show's quirky world, making it a timeless classic in television history. In summary, The Adams Family remains a captivating series with each detail, whether it be the characters' names in different languages, the unique investments of Gomez, or the Hollywood artifacts within The Adams Mansion, adding to its charm and appeal.